Coming up next, I'm going to review the House of Primera perfumes. I'm going to do my top five favorite perfumes from them. A newer house from Kuwait that I learned about at Scent Explore this past December. I'm going to tell you my favorites coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose. And thank you as always for watching. Thank you for your support, for following my channel. If you don't follow my channel already and you like this video, I'd really appreciate it. You can go ahead and hit subscribe down below and you can ring the bell for notifications so you guys can join along in this journey. Just so you know, what I try to do with my channel is curate fragrances for you. I see myself more as a, uh, rather than just a pure reviewer, really a curator because there's so many fragrances out there that it's easy to get lost. It's overwhelming for any of us. So what I do is, in my little world, what I have access to and what I can come across, and I try to pick from all those fragrances out there and bring you ones that I think are worthwhile for you to catch your nose on, because of course, at the end of the day, it only matters what you like, not what me or anyone else who says it's good likes. All right, having said that, I did come across this house, uh, which is called Primera Perfumes. As I mentioned at the outset, uh, back in um, in uh, December, this past December, at Scent Explorer, I met the owner, one of the owners of the house, Bader. Really nice guy, really nice gentleman. Uh, talked a lot about the fragrances. And uh, so I wanted to review my top five that uh, I really enjoy right now. And what I'm gonna do here is get right into this. And actually I have an honorable mention. So this would be your number six. Uh, and this one is, Pirates. I've talked about this one before. Really enjoy it. Pirates uh, is a fragrance that, if you look at the notes, it's got I think a lot of what people from uh, that are watching this channel that like more of the really kind of uh, mass appealing, almost designer. This I think I think of this one as a really high end uh, designer fragrance. Uh, when you look at the smells and you look at the notes, pink pepper. It's got apple. It's got frankincense. It's got gaiac wood. Um, just a really good kind of ambery, but yet citrusy and a little bit of um, vanilla iso -E super. So it's got a lot of the notes in there. I think it's um, also got some iris. So this is a, again, really, let me just spray it here. I have like a little card from them. I'm going to spray it. Yeah, it's sweet. It's a little, very sexy. Very mass appealing. This reminds me of some of the ones, again, uh, an upgraded version of what you would find in the, a lot of the designer world that's popular out there. Um, very nice, very good fragrance, and that's my honorable mention. So let's get now into my top five. Coming in at number five is London Intense. London Intense, what I really like about this one, it's got an interesting fig milk note, including very spicy, it's got some white oud, caramel, uh, patchouli, musk. If these are all notes you like, this is something you wanna try. Oh yeah. See this one to me is not what I would consider designery fragrance. This is much more of a niche smelling fragrance. Um, it's got some lavender in there to kick it up to give a little bit of a, a freshness at the top. Ylang Ylang, which is a real classic fragrance note. But this one again, uh, I think it encapsulates the smell of London very well. I like what they've done here with the London Intense. But that white oud and that fig milk really stand out to me in this fragrance. Um, I really enjoy it, wear this one a lot, and think that you would enjoy it too if you like those type of notes. Let's go now to the number four fragrance. And this is Marine. So Marine is, I would say, more also kind of like the original fragrance I talked about, Pirates. This is uh, more of a mass appealing fragrance. It's got basil, it's got a very kind of like green opening with lavender, mint, and sage, which I love all those notes. Let me spray it on the card here. Um, very fresh. This is, what I found is, of the um, six fragrances I'm talking about here today, this one is actually my quickest dumb reach. So it's very good, very fresh, very versatile, very good to just wear anywhere. Uh, any time of the day, great for summer, great for coming into the spring. Um, it's also got some like uh, oak moss and coumarin, which gives it a little bit of a spicy sweetness, patchouli. 
And interesting raspberry note in here, which I pick up along with this kind of, they list as a sea breeze, or, and obviously it's a marine fragrance. So this is very much like those kind of classic um, marine, I would almost call, even though it's green, it's definitely got kind of a, of a, of a blue feel, almost like a blue de Chanel, something along those lines. If you like the, that type of fragrance, marine is one you definitely want to check out. Um, but I think of a much higher quality than those designer fragrances. There you go, marine. All right, let's go now to my number three choice. And this one is called Royal Vetiver. Royal Vetiver starts out with a very interesting uh, kind of fruity neroli. Well, neroli obviously is, is from the orange, but also pineapple and cardamom at the top. So again, they use a lot of citrus spicy notes. So a lot of these fragrances that I've mentioned here, which I like, have those citrusy, and I can't see it there. Um, ooh, this to me is almost gourmandish at the opening. It's very intense. This one is very intense. Again, this is much more niche in my opinion, uh, but the base, and you can smell it right away, is the Haitian vetiver, which is the best vetiver in all the world. It gives a very grounding feeling. Um, this feels like you're kind of walking through fields like almost grain fields or hay fields and, and you just have that earthiness and the ground and it's sweet. And I said, it's got this uh, like smokiness to it, which is really interesting. Uh, cedarwood, Damascus rose. So they use a lot of really high quality elements in this. Uh, this one's different. It's not going to be for everybody. I'm going to tell you that right off the bat. Uh, Marine and Pirates are much more mass appealing. This one is much more gonna be for your true niche lover, especially if you like vetiver. They've put a lot of interesting molecules and notes with the vetiver, vetiver here that I think will make it, uh, for someone who is a big vetiver fan, we're gonna wanna check this one out because it is different. All right, that leads me to my number two. This is really interesting, and I didn't think this would be my number two when I first read about this, but this is De Aroma. You can see De Aroma. And the notes they list here are rather simple. They just say at the top are French flowers, middle notes, heart of patchouli, and base white, I'm sorry, musk and white oud. So, you know, that, when I first said that, I'm like, okay, this is gonna be maybe too feminine for me. Maybe it's gonna be a little bit too floral for me. And I gotta say, I don't know what it is. This one just really makes me feel uplifted. It gives me a happy feeling. In fact, I'm gonna put this right on my skin right now because I wanna get a skin so you can actually see the reaction here. It, yeah, I mean, you can't escape the, this, whatever the French flowers are, whatever you know combination of notes, but I get some white flower, but that patchouli, keeps it from getting too feminine, keeps it from getting too florally, too white florally or French flowery, whatever the notes are. Um, and then the white musk, or the musk is not an animalic musk. I, it's probably more of a, a white musk or maybe a synthetic musk like galaxolide or habanolide, something like that, which gives a very kind of clean element to it. Also helps it in f as far as projection and longevity on your skin. This is very simple. The other, the other fragrances I went through already are, are definitely more complex with a lot more notes going on that you may find some of those notes you either like or dislike. This one is a fragrance that, you know, again, it's pretty simple. I like simplicity. I've said this before, like the trend in cooking and high cuisine is today of using wonderful, superb ingredients, but keeping things very simple, I think is what has been done here in De Aroma. That's why it's my number two choice, but we have to have a number one, and that is, for me, Smoky Jazz. Smoky Jazz is, ooh, it is, wow. Let me just put it here. I love the name. Uh, I love jazz music. It's, it's one of my favorite genres of music. Uh, it's free flowing, it's free form especially when you get into someone like Dizzy Gillespie or Charlie Parker, you know, um, Miles Davis. 
I love just kind of putting on some jazz mu music and smelling this. It really kind of hits home for me. But if, again, I'm pulling the juice up for you there. And this is why, but this one is uh, an extrait. These are all actually, I'm sorry, my, no, this is an extrait. I'll go back to and tell you which ones are extraits in, in Eau de Parfums. But this one's got red apple, peach, and a spicy accord on top. So right off the bat, you know this is niche. Then you have chocolate, vanilla, tobacco, bourbon. You have something called hinky wood. Actually, I'm gonna have to get, let me look at this. I'm sorry, not hinky, hinky wood, which I'll be honest with you, I don't even know exactly what that is, but it's got amber, smoky accords again. It's got some agar wood, which is the wood that oud resin comes from. This one, again, is gonna be for someone who likes taking a little bit of a risk. So this perfume line, what I like about what they're doing at Primera is they've really got something for everybody. Uh, and just to go back, my honorable mention, which is Pirates, and Pirates is an Eau de Parfum, okay? So you have Pirates at honorable mention six, that is an Eau de Parfum. You have London Intense, also Eau de Parfum. Okay, as far as the concentration, then I have, that was number five. At number four, I have Marine, which is an extrait. And what's very interesting about this is it, you usually don't see a Marine fragrance in an extrait level. So that's another kind of differentiating uh, factor about this perfume versus other that are in that similar genre. Then you have Royal Vetiver at number three, which is also an extrait par de parfum. Then you have De Aroma, number two. That is an Eau de Parfum. And you have Smoky Jazz, my number one fragrance from the house right now. And that is again, an extrait de parfum. So high concentrations, good oils, lots of variety. Check Primera out. Again, it's a house from Kuwait and um, learned about it just recently and really starting to get, to get to know it now. There's a lot of other fragrances that they have already released. And um, I've gone through a number of them and maybe I'll do an updated video one day in the future. But thanks again for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. Peace, love, and perfume.